Thanks, everyone, and welcome to this week's Coaches Show, the Volleyball Edition with Coach Davis. Before we get a chance to visit, I want to turn it over to Jaron for some tea with Mac T. Uh, this week's hard-hitting questions are going to be for Coach Davis and Coach May. Jaron, take it away. What you got for me, Jaron? Do you think the team is playoff ready? That's a great question. Do I think the team is playoff ready? Yes, I do think they're playoff ready. What position in the playoffs right now may still be up for grabs, uh, but we're getting better every day to try to lock down that first place position. Dean, they're doing a good job. Can you make Randy run a little extra after practice? Oh. <laughs> I probably can do that for you, Jaren. You know, I don't know if she's going to be really down for that, but I, I sure will. You know, someday she may need that extra running. What do you enjoy most about coaching? Uh, I enjoy working with uh, the youth all the time, you know, and so as long as I keep working with the youth, it makes me feel youthful as well. Hence the hairline, you know. Keeps me young. How do you feel about the next stretch of games coming up? We have a good stretch of games coming up. Uh, community uh, upset Sunnyvale last night, so that puts us back in first place as well. So uh, as long as we win out, we have a chance to still win a district championship. Uh, Kaufman's going to be tough, and so we're looking forward to that game on Tuesday when we play Kaufman here. That'll be a big one. Thank you for sitting down with me today. Thank you for having me, and thank you for some of the tough questions. I can't wait to make Randy run for you. <laughs> How do you feel about the next stretch of games coming up? Well, uh, you know, Jared, so for the past couple weeks, my kids have actually been in what we call a mid season slump. Um, but last night and this week, we really had some good practices. They played great together last night, so I'm feeling good about the end. Our goal is to win district, so that's what we're trying to do. Have you ever been hit in the face with the volleyball? You because know. Because I have. Oh, you have? <laughs> 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 yeah, so actually, Jaren, because Coach Davis likes to warm up on opposite sides together, I get hit all the time. And Coach Davis, Mr. G, he caught it the other day. He got one <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> What do you enjoy most about coaching? Oh, so, you know, I've always loved sports, but I really like the coaching side is getting to be around the kids all the time. You know, when I'm coaching, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm just getting to um, kind of be there for the girls when they need me, but also I get to have the sport aspect on it too. So I like both of those things. Who would win between the JV and varsity teams? <laughs> Do I have to answer that question, Jaren? I mean, it should be the varsity, and I believe they would. The JV would try to give them a run for their money. Uh, they got a thank good you little, for sitting down with me today. little defense. <laughs> thank you, Jaren. Thanks, Jaren, for those hard-hitting questions as usual. Uh, my turn now, Coach. So hopefully you're ready. Uh, we'll start with, first of all, congratulations. Had a lot of success over an extended period of time here in Farmersville. I know that's not easy. They always say the only thing harder than getting to the top is staying there. That, How have you been able to maintain that success? That, that's, that's a great question. That, that's a hard thing to do, uh, maintaining it. You know, people you know, are okay with you coming in and changing things and you see the success come, but maintaining that because now you're the one that has the target on your right. back. And so, you know, the girls have bought into the system, you know, and, and we started the youth league here and all that good stuff, and that got the fundamentals at an early age. Well, you, you're familiar with the youth league yes, now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. You got ones playing in it. And, Absolutely. And your wife took it over yes, for us, yeah. and she's doing a good job with it. And so that's how we're kind of able to maintain that. Every year we've got younger kids coming in that are very fundamentally mm -hmm. sound, and when you got that, you can piece together a really good team. So you mentioned that kind of youth movement and then learning it, but what would you say is the biggest difference between, like, a, a good team and a good program? Uh, a good team kind of comes and goes when you just uh, rely on one certain individual mm -hmm. the whole time mm -hmm. and you rely on just 
one or two girls and just focus on them and not get your JVs ready and your right. JV2s ready and your junior highs ready. Because if you want a program, a sustained program, you have to have talent in every class. Yep. You can't you can't just skip two or three years and you just focus on these. Cultivate it every cultivate year. Cultivate it every yeah. year and yeah. make every girl feel you know proud and a part of it and want to be a part of it. Yep. That you know it's going to take a lot of hard work to be a part of it, but there are good results if you actually would buy into it and. We've been fortunate enough to have a group of girls and a group of parents that bought into that philosophy. So. You've mentioned hard work. It's funny, I dropped off my daughter this morning on the 7th A-team, and at 6 o'clock here she was walking into the gym to play volleyball. So they do buy in at a young age because when they have that success, they're willing to put in that work because they see what it looks like. Yes, yeah. that, that is true. And, you know, and you know, I'm one of the coaches that's fortunate enough, too, to have, you know, my wife is a, the junior high coach, yep. and, you know, Coach Fetty coaches down there. We have two excellent junior high coaches, and when you have that, you know, the kids coming in already know your systems, they know what's expected, and it, it really cultivates into a program, not just a, a year or two. Right. You know, you'll have a, a year where you're not, you know, 30 and 2 and stuff like that, but you're still going to be very competitive. Right. Well, let's talk about this year's team then. Uh, you and I are visiting earlier, 3-1 and one in district so far, so almost with the first round of district. Um, let's talk about, like, what is it going to take to get those uh, the team to the – level that you think they need to be at to be ready and, and prepared for the playoffs? The, the main two things this team is missing is basically consistency and mental toughness. And those kind of go hand in hand in my yeah. opinion. You know, because when things start going back, because volleyball is a game of mistakes. Right. And, and when you can get every girl to thinking that, that, you know, I just have to limit those. I can't, you know, have an excess of mistakes. And to get back there and you've already got three mistakes and to get that out of your head you have to have short-term memory loss right. in, in <laughs> volleyball yeah, yeah. to get back to where you can still serve that bullet you right. can still pull the trigger on that hit and not play safe the whole time because you've had a few mistakes right. and that's where the mental toughness comes in you know and and we're working on that and, and that's we, if we can get that cultivated over the next couple of weeks we're going to be we're going to be a team that's going to be you know tough to beat a pretty tough out in the playoffs yes. well yeah. continuing on with this year's team you know, I've been to a lot of the games, had a chance to, to broadcast a couple of those. Angie has just kind of been a beast this year in the middle, really grown from last year, playing all the way around, serving a little bit more now. Can you talk about a little bit of her development? Yes. Uh, for y'all? You know, Angie's one of those athletes that, you know, you're fortunate enough to get to coach once in your lifetime if you're lucky. Right. You know, that's just blessed with all this natural talent, you know, because she come in as a freshman and never played. Crazy. And she, But she bought in and she loved it. She fell in love with the game and she went to work. And, you know, that was her goal was to get to where she could serve and play a rotation or two on the back row so she can improve that game, part of her game. And, and as you can see, she went to work on that and yeah. you see results now. Oh. Her jump serves pretty good and yeah. she's, she's getting digs and she's preparing for the next level. You right. know? And she right. was blessed to get that full ride to LSU. And so she's trying to do her best to go over there and take a spot. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, and there's... Let's talk about that little league you'd mentioned. I know that's, and I don't want to leave anyone out, but you know Morgan and Rindy, you know they kind of came up through Farmersville, yes, a little league, and yes, now they're sir. key components of this varsity yeah. team. This year. Morgan, you know she's a little firecracker there on that back row, and you got to have that energy, that spark plug. That she, she's the spark plug back there, and when she's firing on all cylinders, she gets everybody else to fire on all cylinders, right. and, and she's a blessing to have. And then Rindy's our most rounded player. She can play any position, has skills at every position and just one of the most mental tough kids that we have. And so, you know, we're blessed to have them. Like you said, they come through the youth league and they come through the junior high. They've been here throughout the duration and, you know, they want to keep carrying on that tradition. And they understand the expectations too. Yes, right? they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. And, you know, and those come out pretty daily, you know, and, <laughs> right? but they know, any, you know, because we've been here long enough and the program's been here long enough that you just get that look, you know, you can look and they go. And, right, you know, sure. And so. Well, and you've yeah. got a new player this year. You got a new face, Sophia. She's an important part, obviously, of the team at running that setter position. How has that transition been for her moving over into public school? You know, for the first time, being around the girls all the time. Yeah, Sophia. You know, when she first came here in the spring, uh, it was a new world for her. Right. You know, because she was homeschooled. Yeah. Right. And she struggled for the first two weeks, which you know I knew she would, and sure. I visited with her and her parents about it, and said she will. So it's going to be tough. It's a whole different setting. She loves it now. And she loves playing with this team. She's an important asset to this team. She brings a monster jump serve and a standing serve, too. If she doesn't jump serve, she's got a really good serve. And she's a good setter, very coachable, fits right in with the girls. Uh, we're glad to have her. Good, good. Well, let's talk a little bit. You mentioned the lower levels and how important that is for you know continuing success at the program. Uh, 
how was the JV doing? Are you you happy with what you're seeing there? Some of the development there? Do you have some girls that you're looking forward to coaching next year? Because you're going to lose a few this year. Yes. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, our JV, I want to say, have only lost three games so far this year. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're very successful as well. Good. You know, and they're coming on, and a couple of little games that they lost, they went three, and they were right there in it in pretty much the same way, just a few mistakes sure. and untimely times cost them those games. Sure. And we're excited about our JV coming up. We won't have the height, obviously not every girl 6'3", running up <laughs> right. down the halls, yeah. but we got a lot of skilled players coming up that's going to be, they're going to be younger, next year's team will be a little younger, but they're going to be solid. Good. So. Good. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck as you finish up the district play, get ready for the playoffs. For those of you at home that haven't had a chance to come out and watch a game, they're playing Friday at home this week against Quinlan, another district foe. Uh, be at home next Tuesday against Kaufman. So come on out and join us and cheer on the Lady Farmers. And if you can't do that, join us on the broadcast. Um, hopefully we'll be able to bring that to you guys live. And, Coach, again, best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.